Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. We have a few Christmas journals we'll be looking at today, as well as some books in the marketplace supply section we will get to in a minute. I have a few Christmas journals here from Yesenia. I love how she's used um, some of these Christmas. Let me see. Oh, well, where? Okay. There's supposed to be a paper in the front that tells, whoopsie. Okay. So you forgot the paper in the front, my dear. So I do not know pages, but that's okay. We will do the best we can here. Um, I think these are supposed to be challenge journals and she's used images should be from Holiday Image Club. This is from Holiday Image Club. You can get Holiday Image Club on my website. It's currently only $8 for a lifetime membership. This is my paper pack called Merry Christmas, and this is available in my shop under Digitals. It's just a fun, lots of Christmas. This is from Holiday Image Club. Holiday Image Club, I add about five new images every week, and they're Christmas, Halloween, all different holidays. So some of the Christmas ones that she has used. This is from Merry Christmas. So it's just, it's a fun, um, it's got a lot, it has Christmas cheer, one of my ephemera packs. It gives you a really good starting point that you can bounce off of. You can add your own goodies to. You can take these and turn them into whatever you would like. Whoop, got stuck here. Fix that. There we go. And got stuck there too. This is from Warm Wishes, and I'm using this pack in my own Christmas journals that I'm working on that hopefully I'll be able to share with you soon. You can find all of these in the Marketplace Journals section of my website. Here's this one. This one's a little, let's see, three signatures. It has all these pretty tassels hanging off the edge. And then it's a similar setup inside using the Holiday Image Club Merry Christmas Paper Pack, Warm Wishes, and some of the Christmas Cheer Ephemera Pack as well. So you can go ahead and write on here, add your little Christmas stories, put in your photos. This, whoops, this one here has a really pretty Merry Christmas. I believe this is from Holiday Image Club. It's under the Christmas winter section. This is a sweet floral Christmas paper pack. This is from, what's it called? Do you guys ever get really tired? Like there's a lot going on in your life and then your brain just does not remember things like the simplest things. I know the name of this paper pack and my brain just turned off. So frosty night, that's what it is. Frosty night. Yeah. I'm kind of just at that point where my brain needs a brain dump. It's too full. No new information can be stored. <laughs> you know, like I need to upgrade my hard drive. I'm sure that some of you feel that way sometime. I decided to write a list out of all these things I'm forgetting the other day and uh, been trying to keep track of that so I can get some of that stuff done and it's not in one ear and out the other. Pretty pink. So I like the pink little Christmas tree paper that's different and pink Christmas is fun. So yes, I am working on Christmas journals they're just taking me longer than I wanted to get done, but I'm so happy with the way they're turning out. I did some stenciling on them the other day, and hopefully I will be able to finish them, hopefully by the end of next week. I'd like to get them to them this week, but I have a Victoria Designs journal, <clears throat> excuse me, a Victoria Designs journal to work on, and I'm so excited about that. I was printing it out this morning. All right, well, this is just wrapping. Let me remove that. 
So this is from someone else. I don't remember who, but we will find out. Look at that beautiful. Okay, so this is fabric on the edge, paper on the front and back. Really pretty. It says December 25th. It's a little cut out. All right. Pretty Christmas house. I think this is actually the front of a bag. How, like a Christmas shopping bag or gift bag? Brilliant. Okay, so this is from, please have your name in here. Yes, there is, Leah. This is from Leah. How pretty, Leah. Let's see what she said she used. Holiday Image Club, Relaxing Winter. That is Joanne's Digital. And then Christmas Cheer Ephemera. So this, this is Relaxing Winter. Oh, really pretty. I'm working on a Christmas digital right now as a commissioned kit for Yvette. And it's called Winter Wonders. And she wanted like snowy owls and snow branches, trees, blues, stuff like that. So it would go really well with, with this. I'm working on it. I'm not quite halfway through it yet. Oh, she's even added rustling autumn leaves. And I love how that looks with it, with the little gold splatters. Pretty. Nice, really nice setup. Relaxing winter. Pretty little additions. Lots of different types of papers. Little bags. Lots of the relaxing winter is really pretty in here. That flips out. Very pretty. So this is from Leah. This is from Christmas Cheer here. I think that I think that's from Christmas Cheer as well. Really pretty. Very different feel. Very nice. Creative. All right. So that's just all we're looking at for journals today. However, Barb sent some books. I think you guys are going to enjoy. So these are in the marketplace supplies section. So we have some sewing books, the sew it book. Look at how cute. I wanted to steal like half these books. They are so cute, but I have to work through a couple more of my own books first. Original copyright 1929. And I'm pretty sure it was reprinted. Yes, it was reprinted in 2008, but you're still getting that feel from being an old book. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness. I know somebody's going to adore this. Look at the, like the little hats, the little stitching. So definitely pick this up for your sewing journals. So cute. Um, cherished red work for baby iron on transfers included. So this would be fun because it has these like iron on transfers where either you could actually transfer this onto something and maybe stitch it or paint it or I don't know, or I would probably just use these, these papers in the journals. They're a really neat feel, something different, something subtle and fun. Uh, vintage quilts, ladies of leisure, vintage quilts, linens, and more. Look at how sweet these would be. Thinking Sherry, Sherry Sawyer, are you watching this? Isn't this cute? Looks like something you would use in your journals. Very sweet and different, like fun. I don't have anything like that, really. Linen heirlooms. So here we have more like kitties and oh, some cute little kids and oh, pretty butterflies. There's so much you could do with this. Like I said, when you come across magazines and books, look at them and treat them as paper pads. So much you could do here. Very fun. Embroidered childhood memories. These are all, look at how cute these would be in children's journals. Look at how sweet. And you could even paint these. You could leave them black and white. You could use colored pencils. So much you could do with that. There's another Red Work, uh, Red Work Quilts book two, and this has a lot of children in it, plus 
what they're supposed to look like. So you can use these as like pockets and journal cards and things like that. Kitties to stitch and quilt. Oh, cute. Be so cute to put in like a vintage type cat journal. Very cute. This, I know somebody's going to scarf up. This is a reprint 1984 Sears and Roebuck. I like this is a bigger version than the one I have. And mine is a 19, 19 something. But look at these. So much ephemera in here for collaging ephemera. I like how the pages are bigger because there's more you can do with it. So awesome. These are reprints of vintage books. This is the Mary Frances Housekeeper. It's cute. It has a little piece of stationery in there. Um, they're public domain. It's a public domain book, 1914, but it was reprinted recently in 98. So it's just the book printed. <laughs> the doll's clean house. Look at the little doll furniture. Really cute plans for a doll house. Look at the little paper dolls. Adventures Among the Doll People. Really cute. Then a reprint of the Mary Frances sewing book. A loan from the Thimble King. The doorknob was turning. She threw her sewing in the basket. So sewing book for little girls. Lots of stuff on sewing. So that's great. And then the Mary Frances knitting and crocheting book. So again, lots of handiwork, perfect for vintage journals, sewing journals, eclectic journals. There's so much you can use in here. And of course, these are really nice quality hardcover. So you can reuse the covers for making journals. And then the Mary Frances cookbook. So if you have any thimble biscuits, Mary Frances gets breakfast, measuring spoons, little cap and apron. So I know that you guys are going to scarf those up. Here is the Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Birds. And I don't, this is a 1977. So you have your photographs here in the front and I love vintage photographs they have a really different feel than today's and the color schemes and stuff they're so pretty so lots and lots you can turn into journal cards and things and then in the back here these are fun these are really lightweight pages these are great for collages and there's so much here that you can take what you want and put some in a swap share it Look at this little old, the modern atlas of the world. This is beautiful. This could go into a journal and make something so beautiful. I do not know the year on this, but it is old. Um, copyright. Chicago. It doesn't say the year. So it's got to be old to actually not have the year on it. I would guess late 1800s, early 1900s would be my guess. I could be wrong. This, The Shepherd of the Hills. Now, this is an old dust jacket I'm keeping on to keep it safe. But look at this cover. Isn't that gorgeous? So I know somebody's going to want to turn it into a journal. Um, the text block is old, so you could use it for pockets and like when you want text and stuff. But this is a 1907 but I know somebody's gonna want it for this cover. Turn that cover into a journal. This is, I think this is 1907 rhododendron. I think it's like a club or something. The senior class of Chenley Normal School, 1907. And so this is, it, it is falling apart as far as the pages are falling out, but I know that you guys are going to re, you know, use the pages. It is like a senior book. So here's the different the different ladies and gentlemen and their senior class of this school. So that's awesome. And then this is a world atlas. This is a bigger one from 1957. Got black and white maps and black and white uh, illustrated 
United States, and then color maps in the front from the 50s. Really neat. This is a nice big one. This is super cool as well. A collection of all-time hit tunes. And look at this. It's like it was handwritten almost. And then copied. How cool is that? Totally different from what you normally see. And then there's a lot. You get this whole lot of books here. These don't have a ton of interest. They're very old. This is Byron. This is Webster's High School Dictionary. Um, effective English. So very old. But, well, that, this one actually does have some pictures in it. But there's not... They're not huge standalone books, so I'm putting them all together when life was young at the old farm. So they're kind of, they're in craft condition. The Trail of the Lonesome Pine, the cover is super old and kind of, you know, the pages are falling out. There's a 1933 almanac, and I think there was some pages starting to come out. And the Columbian Club cookbook, the cover's really old and grungy but there's some really cool cookbook things in here. So there's, there's, they're not really worth selling on their own, but together they make a really cool vintage lot that you can purchase and then take apart and use whatever you wish. Just kind of rescue these books and see what you can do with them. So that's what I have for all of you today. I hope you come back tomorrow for more surprises, more exciting things and ideas for your journal. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you have not, and I will see you all next time.